Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. We will go through our new functionality, which is about the threads. Let me just show you what I have done so far. There is a one outer body here, which is forms the main body of the element. And then we have an inner body, which actually the way we can reconstruct this is by cutting the element and we'll produce our result. But this tutorial it's more about what we're going to do with the thread here. We know that um, in the cut packages this is a really standard tool to implement this, but we want to show our tool in the light of reverse engineering and how you can do this easily with quick surface. Of course the first step was for me to create a thread profile. I just used the section here and I created this uh, um, sketch here and you can standardize, you can add dimensions here and you rec can reconstruct. But the next steps would be to define our thread profile. For this reason we have our new tool which is called Helix and it's, you can find it under the surfacing button or you can go to surfacing menu and select Helix. So now, in this dialog, we need to start, of course, always with the axis. By default, it gives you um, X, Y, and Z axis. You can select all. If it's in a free space, you can just pick this from the um, um, cut face. You pick, select the button pick and click on a cylindrical face. It takes the axis and this will be our lead axis for our helix. The next step actually is uh, about the pitch. Every helix is defined with the pitch and because it's reverse engineering I have no idea what this pitch is. Is it one millimeter or three? So that's why we offer a function which is called measure. You can just click roughly to get an idea what your pitch is. Even if you click inaccurately it's still a similar value. The reason is that it's projected on the axis and just gets this distance between these points. So for now I'll just leave it to 2.3. I have no idea what this is and leave it uh, like this. So now we have our main profile here and the way we define this is by picking the two points where it starts and when it ends. But the interesting part here is that it's actually we have lead out, which is this the size of this thread here is not the same like the rest. So I will just go and select pick my start point. In this case, it is defined where my start point will be. And then I need to tell where my thread finishes, which is roughly here. So what happened now is that because of the pitch, it started always from the start point, but it ends here, but it doesn't match my end. And this is normal because the pitch is very um, different value and this the number of um, the curves that you get around really depends on this pitch. And for this reason, we provide an auto adjust button. So if you press auto adjust, the software automatically finds the pitch which makes sure that from the start points it finishes to the end points as good as possible. In this case we got a pitch of 2.49 and now it's your decision whether to leave it this value or you can actually put it to 2.5 millimeters. So we are nearly there, I press OK now and the next step would be to actually create a sweep you pick this guiding curve and then I will show my profile and I'll pick my profile. Also make sure you make it solid. When you press OK you got your thread. Now the problem is what happens at the very end of this thread. As you see here it actually continues and um, leads out from our main body and we also offer tools for you to solve this issue. How it works is that there are two extra options here that you can extend 
the um, start and the end of your helix. So I will hide my sweet body and here what I will do now is I will extend start. By default it is just a straight um, line tangent to the to my helix and you can control the size but also the other option is called natural which natural it actually continues the same helix up to 100% so you can get another round this is uh, useful for example it's very um, needed in this case because here I will just use the natural so the um, helix will fade in into the, our main body so for the end this is the best option but what happens here is still if I use the natural this doesn't solve my problem so for this reason we provide two other options which are called radial in and radial out the radial in is actually takes the um, um, line from this start point to the center and then def defines a radius for this um, curve and with the slider you actually play with this radius and as you see now it's quite small so this is my radius for this curve or if I put it here up to 100% it doubles the size of my initial radius in this case I can tweak and I, I just in such a way that my curve gets into the main body when I'm ready I can just press OK and everything is reconstructed I can see my sweet body is actually fades in into the um, the mesh here as you can see at the bottom I will just hide my reference mesh we have some extra uh, thread which has been created and this will go into the main body I will hide the helix now and now I can easily apply my boolean operations I'll take the outer body I will just hide the mesh I don't need it I will take my sweep profile I'll take with the control the other main body and I will apply it combine as you see now we got what we actually want nice and smooth transition and the other thread also fades in and my last step will be to take the inner body and from the main body I will just cut this until I get my result so I hope this uh, tutorial will help you to learn how to create easily threads in quick surface. Thank you for watching.